It's the new record breaker at Cedar Point. Today's review is of Val Raven, the world's tallest, fastest, and longest B&M dive coaster. Brand new at Cedar Point in 2016. This coaster breaks 10 records, and it has got all of the GP talking and all of the enthusiasts talking, but all of the enthusiasts are talking about how it isn't that great. But I'm going to be giving my full thoughts on it in today's video. So yes, Cedar Point added a dive coaster. You know, it's those coasters that hang you over the first drop, stare 90 degrees straight down, and then it drops you. Terrifying, right? Yeah, the GP love it, but these dive coasters are really one-trick ponies. The enthusiasts, like myself, consider them fine rides, but it doesn't have the full package like some of these rides like Millennium Force and Maverick. Interestingly enough, most people with this coaster prefer the 270 degree roll more than the actual first drop, which the roll is very cool. And that is one of the main differences between this coaster and other dive coasters like Griffin and Shikra. This is the third dive coaster in the United States, the last one being Griffin, which was added in 2007, so it's been nine years since the last dive coaster was built in the United States. The other main difference between this and Griffin is that this only has eight across seating because it has B&M vest restraints like you'll see on the wing coasters. Now while this does prevent head banging, which might I add was never a problem on dive coasters, the the problem with this is that it does prevent you from getting the weightless feeling that you're going to get on the main drop. It's very comfy, but it's almost too comfy. It doesn't allow you to lift up out of your seat. So it kind of depends on what you prefer. Do you want a comfier ride? or do you want to be able to experience airtime? So take that as you will, but I know a lot of enthusiasts are not a huge fan of that. Now when you approach this ride, first of all, you're gonna notice the long line because it is new for 2016 and every new ride at Cedar Point is gonna get a long line. But this ride is named Val Raven, which is a Danish raven that is themed to death and whatnot. And so they kind of gave it a Game of Thrones type theme almost medieval-like. It's Cedar Point, so they don't have tons of theming, but you got some archways, some cool patterns on the walls, and you get into the station, and this is a pretty small station. It's pretty cool looking, but of course, because Cedar Point is landlocked, and the, because the trains are so small, they don't need a huge station. And I will add that Cedar Point does not let you pick your own row. If you are a FastPass user, then you can request a row, and I believe they will grant it. But if you're just in the regular line, I believe they will tell you what row to to go to. So you pull out of the station and go into this tight 180 degree turn and go up this massive lift hill. This ride is 223 feet tall and you're going to hit the top. You get this fantastic view. I love the view you get from the top of Val Raven. And they angled it so that the drop is facing Lake Erie towards the beach. So right before you drop, you have this amazing view of the water and it hangs you over the drop for about four seconds. And then you drop 90 degrees straight down in a 214 foot drop. It's a very fun drop. Basically, if you've ridden Griffin or Shikra, it feels about the same. And that is when you hit your maximum speed of 75 miles per hour. And then it goes into an Immelman. Surprise, surprise. That's the element that follows Griffin and Shikra. And this is actually the second largest inversion in the United States. The number one being Gatekeeper. This Immelman is 165 feet tall. It is enormous. So you twist out and you're then going to glide around into the mid-course break run, which is directly behind the first drop. So while it does kind of have the same first half as every other dive coaster, the location of the mid-course break run is kind of different. The fact that they are able to squeeze a mid-course break run in between the supports and the first drop is pretty incredible. And it's at this point in the ride where you then dive down the second drop. There is no holding break on this one, but this drop is also very steep. And immediately following that, you're going to go into a dive loop, which is the first ever dive loop on a dive coaster in the United States, which is very cool. I like dive loops more than Immelman's, so I was a big fan that they decided to go with a dive loop instead of a second Immelman. That is one thing that I like about this compared to Griffin. And following that, you're going to go into this really cool inversion, a 270 degrees zero G roll. And because of the way you hit this inversion, you twist out of it so slow. It's like you're in slow motion. It is really cool. And that is the third inversion on Valraven, meaning it has more inversions than any other dive coaster. And following that, you are going to bank into a turnaround, go into an airtime hill where you may or may not get airtime. I don't remember getting that much. You might float up out of your seat, but if you do, it's only a little. And then you're going to hit the brake run. 
So all in all, the track length on this is 3,415 feet. And even though it's the longest dive coaster in the world, it still feels over quickly. But I think that's just because dive coasters feel like really short rides. And I'm sure in past videos, you've heard me complain about how I think Cedar Point should have gotten something else other than Valraven. And I don't think that it's the greatest coaster out there. Don't get me wrong, it's still fun. But I do, in fact, prefer Griffin because I do like that splashdown, and I like how in Griffin you get more of a weightlessness feeling on the first drop compared to Valraven where you don't really. But I will say, favorite part of Valraven is that 270 degree roll. Everything else feels exactly like the others. The dive loop is cool though, and the landscaping they did around Valraven is really good. It really does look great. And I like the logo, I like the throne. Could Cedar Point have done more theming? Absolutely. But Cedar Point, so they didn't do a ton, but that's okay. It's one of the better themed rides in the park. But I think the ride turned out okay. I'm still not a huge fan of its color scheme. I still think it's an ugly roller coaster. It started to grow on me a little bit, but I think they could have gone with a much better color scheme than that brown with the silver and blue. But the one good thing about the silver is that the coaster looks really good at night because the silver will actually catch the light, which I believe is why they added the silver on the bottom of the track. So that is one good thing about Valraven. This coaster really does look great at night. So it is time for the part of the video where I give Valraven its final score. What do I think of it? I am giving it a 7.5 out of 10, which is not a bad score because unlike the school grading system, for my scores, if it's above a five, then it's good. So I'm giving Valraven a seven and a half. So what could Valraven have done to give it a higher score? I'm not sure there is anything. In my opinion, a dive coaster just isn't gonna get that perfect 10 or even a nine really. If Griffin is the best dive coaster in the US and I only gave that an eight, then I don't know how good a dive coaster could get. In my opinion, they really are just one trick ponies. They're fun, but they're not really worth waiting in more than a 30 minute line which the problem with Valraven is that it does get a long line. But for what it is, Valraven isn't a bad coaster. Plop it down at some random park in the middle of nowhere, and people would travel from all over to ride this thing. I think it's just because it's at Cedar Point, it, you have higher expectations for it. But don't go in expecting this awe-dropping roller coaster like Maverick. It's just not going to happen. I think this coaster probably makes top five coasters at Cedar Point, but maybe not even that, maybe number six. But I will say, front row on this coaster definitely is the best. I did not get the opportunity to try back, but I did try middle, to which I thought it sucked. So front row is definitely the way to go on this coaster. But I want to hear from you what you think of Valraven at Cedar Point. Let me know in the comments section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? If you do disagree with me, let me know why. And of course, make sure to stay tuned for more coaster reviews here at Coaster Studios.